So, as you can see, we're in a kitchen, me and mum, <laughs> and today we're going to be doing some cooking. The last video, you saw mum making some sausage rolls, or the end product of what she made. So, mum is going to show you her recipe, and I'm also going to make some scones. I've been wanting to make them for ages because I bought some clotted cream um, and it's been in the freezer for ages and I wanted to use it. So I'm going to make some scones. Come on then! <laughs> Sharing the rest. So um, let's. we're just going to show you all of the ingredients and everything set up and then we'll show you the process. Right, so this is the sausage roll mix, the sausage meat. What have you put in there, Mum? It's just got onions, really chopped small, and herbs. I mixed herb and salt and pepper. That's all it's got in there. Sausage meat. Obviously, it's got the sausage meat in there. <laughs> but if you don't have a lot of sausage meat and you want it to go further, you can put breadcrumbs in there yeah. or in England we get like a stuffing mix which <laughs> you mix with water and you can put it in with that it makes the meat go further and it's really nice yeah so that's mum's mixture and we've got shop bought pastry what kind of pastry is it short crust? it's just short crust pastry yeah you can use uh, flaky if you want but you can obviously make it but just for quickness we've bought it um, so yeah, so we'll, I'll put all of the, the um, ingredients in the description below the video. Um, so yeah, so go on then mum, show us how you make them. Right. <laughs> and we've preheated the oven to 160 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Um, and mum's got some parchment paper in the trays instead of uh, buttering them so if you want a decent sausage roll you need a nice bit of meat in there nothing like a sausage roll that's got nothing in it when you bite into it so you've rolled it out into square into a square yeah. shape and that will make you're just going to do two out of that and this them up. will make three and that half will make three. So out of each piece, you get six. So I haven't got a little brush, so I'm gonna have to use a spoon, but it all does the same thing. And that helps it to stick, doesn't it? Yeah. just helps it seal just press with the back of the knife and then cut it into three whatever size you want you can do more if you want smaller ones or you can do less if you want bigger ones and then we just brush the egg over the top just to give it some nice golden color and that's that lovely my perfect sausage rolls <laughs> There you go. So like I said, I'll put the um, ingredients in the description below the video. Um, and mum's gonna get on and make the rest of them. And uh, so here, I have got all the ingredients for scones. And like I say, I will put all of the measurements and everything in the description for both the recipes. Um, so this is for scones, and in here I have got um, 900 grams of self-raising flour. You can put raisins or sultanas into the scone mix, or you don't have to put any at all, but I've got raisins. In here I've got four eggs from the chickens outside, and I have put um, mixed them up with some milk. Now, um, the recipe is four eggs and then you add milk 
to that mixture until you get 600 milliliters of mixture. Here I have got 100 grams of sugar and here I have got 200 grams of butter. And that's it. So I'm gonna do the next step. So I need to add the butter into here, mix it all up with my hands until you get a breadcrumb looking mixture. Right, so we're gonna add into the flour butter. It needs to be at room temperature so that you can easily mix it in. So put all of that in. And then you wanna use your hands and you just want to keep massaging it. I've got quite a lot of mixture here. I've uh, doubled the recipe because there's loads of us, so there's enough to go around. Can't beat a good scone with clotted cream and jam and a nice cup of tea. And we was going to do some gardening this week, but it's really horrible weather. We've had lots of rain and grey dingy skies. I was supposed to put a video out a bit earlier um, than what I have this week but I was busy at the weekend and then I've come back and we've had really crappy weather so um, I filmed a wedding at the weekend. Mine and Mo's friend got married and um, they had a big party and I've got loads of footage of that so I'll put some of that in the video as well today. So yeah. Those are my nice hydrangeas, look. Yeah, they've gone crazy. They always get really good haircut and then they come back yeah. amazing. So we're in the guest house, as uh, you can see the chateau over there. Yeah, we're in the guest house because uh, my kitchen's tiny and it's a bit hard when you're trying to like do proper cooking. It's alright when you're just at home and you don't care what you're up to. But for filming it's nicer in here, so we're in the guest house. We've got a nice big oven as well. <laughs> there we go. It's not really looking like breadcrumbs yet. It takes lots and lots and lots of uh, massaging. <laughs> to make sure you get all the mixture from the bottom as well, all the flour that's sitting on the bottom. And have lots of scones but you can freeze them as well for scones so you can make them cook them and then put them in the freezer and then they're fine to defrost and eat hopefully <laughs> they are <laughs> and after all that i forgot to put the sugar in <laughs> so i'm putting it in now so this is the end result so that's the flour sugar and butter all mixed in and resembling breadcrumbs. How are you getting on, Mum? I'm doing fine. I've already got one lot in the oven. Yeah. So I'm just on my second tray. Okay. I'll probably uh, have some meat left, I don't know. So the next step is to pour in the mixture of egg and milk. So that was four eggs. And then you need to make the mixture up to 600 ml with, with uh, milk. So, we basically stir it in until you get a nice soft and sticky dough. You know what, I'm gonna pour it all in.
Right, so that's the mixture. And you just want to lightly knead it so that it, all of the mixture is stuck together. to roll it out and if you're adding the sultanas you need to work them in at this point and just flour up the rolling pin so I'm just going to roll them out cut it in half and I'm going to do half with sultanas and half without you want to roll it out to about two centimeters thickness I am going to use this little cup to cut them out you can buy the proper um, cutter for making stones they've got like little ridges in them so dip that in the flour and then ugly taste test one <laughs> so I can fit nine on there plus that little tasting one and then I'm just gonna put some egg on the top so they go a bit golden not loads and then I've got some light brown sugar they call it blonde in France and I'm just literally gonna sprinkle some on the top That's the first one. Done. 
put them in the oven. And they are gonna cook for around 15 minutes. So they need to be a light golden color and uh, risen. So we'll check back on them. Right, so I've just got the first batch out of the oven. They're looking good. I'm gonna take them off and put them onto a plate so that I can use that tray for the next lot. And now we have the second batch out. That's the first one. Second one, and I've got one more in the oven. Now, they look good. <laughs> and the cream and the jam. Just waiting for the last batch and mum's sausage rolls. They are in here, the sausage rolls and the scones, you can't see them.
Oh, he's a good boy. He's so little. Oh, he's so little. Yes. So, Mum's sausage rolls, first one is done. Just checking the bottoms because sometimes they go a bit soggy. Two bums. No, well, they can be our ones. Bottoms. <laughs> Both a bit better. I'm going to taste Mum's sausage roll. I have tasted them before, but <laughs> I haven't eaten any breakfast or lunch today. So. Let's go. Give it a go without burning my mouth off. Oh. Mm -hmm. Delicious. I think it's loads of the onion as well, it makes it taste really nice, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Cool, yeah. Are they gone? Where are they gone? Bet you want some sausage. Ooh, mm. is that nice? Oh, he's a good boy. Gone. Didn't even taste it, did you? <laughs>